And boom! They just came out of the middle of nowhere. My thing overheated. And this is hilarious. <laughs> Come on, I saw it pull. Get out. Look at the size of that rosie. It's 5, 18 a.m. Oh boy, am I tired. But it's time to do some fishing. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Nice spot. Has pulled the rod now, Mr. Snook. Hello, Mr. Snook. I like to try to keep my baits overnight, especially if I get pilchards, because they're not all the way, always around. Um, but I have about a dozen or so. Uh, that's enough for me to go mahi fishing alone. Um, but luckily my canal moves water pretty good so they stay alive. What's going on guys? Good morning. So we're gonna head offshore today looking for maybe some mahi, uh, maybe some tuna if we can run into them. Uh, and then I also brought my deep drop rod. This thing is a beast. So uh, we may, may throw a, a couple drops in depending on how it goes. Um, but first let's stop. We're gonna try to grab some pilchards. I do have probably about a dozen that I showed you early in the video still left from the last trip. But uh, either way, let's try to stock up them to throw the net. And then uh, let's get out there and catch some fish. So let's have a good day. The hardest thing to do is throw the net by yourself and steer the boat and try to throw a pancake. But it'd be good if I didn't just knock the whole damn thing up either. All right. Get the net all set up. God, maggots everywhere. About a thousand in here this morning. It's so gross. God, there's just maggots flopping everywhere. Oh, oh, you can see them all. Uh, what are you doing? Catch some bait? Gosh, it's disgusting. Small ones under the boat, little tiny ones everywhere. Come on. We gotta clean the net anyway. I netted a ton, but they're all so tiny. I'm trying to find some bigger ones. There we go. Bigger ones.
peepers. It's one. It's all the trash from last time. All right, let's go find some fish. Let's go. All right. Come on, baby. Oh, there's a Rosie. It came out to 1,200 feet to get a Rosie. All right. All right, well, one is better than none, let's put it that way. Ooh, baby. Little guy. In the box. All right. Drop number. Let's go for another one. <laughs> All right. So, doing squid. I got my light on the end. That's a blue light. I don't know if freaking matters, but. This is just a pre-made rig. I actually made some rigs too, but I try to use this one until I lose it. And then this is a five pound lead. The guy was telling me at the store that I shouldn't probably go over five pounds because that rod really, that reel really shouldn't handle it. I'm sure it can, but it, maybe it'll burn it out. I don't know, but all right, let's give it a go. And the assistant takes over. We are in a thousand feet. I don't know, this looks like some sandy, rocky ground. So, let's try something here. Yeah, if not, I'll go over into these holes and maybe try something over here, but we're pretty deep. This is a thousand feet. I mean, I can't see shit on the bottom, but. You know, for some reason you always catch something. Uh, well, let's see. Spots, so this looks like some rock here. Maybe it's some rock here up on this wall coming up. This is super deep, it's like 1300. It dropped from like 1000 to 1300 right here, so. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, but it looks like, you know, we're probably going to drag along here. Unless the current pulls it up here. I don't freaking know. So I'm about to find out. But we are. We're probably going to have to go to 500 here. 500 meters at least. 
so ripping offline. Whew. This thing's really down there. Probably it's too deep, but oh well. Rolling down in the abyss, baby. Maybe we'll get one. Oh, we hit bottom. We've hit bottom. Freaking deep. Nothing. I know there's a rosy, rosy, rosy this, this, this little guy. All right, we'll take one. Little guy. This tastes so good though. These rosies, all these little rocks in here. I think that's why I'm getting them all in these spots. So we'll see if this will link up. You know, we're somewhere in there. So find out. A little tap. I think that was him. So. We're about to find out. Oh, this one's pulling good. This one's pulling good. Got a couple of yanks on there. Ooh, nice. A couple of pulls. Let's go, baby. What do we got? What do we got? Woo, baby. Is it something big? It's pulling. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Give me a towelfish. Give me something, give me a grouper. Woo. Give me anything. Come on, come on, anything. Let's go. 200. 200, it's still pulling. All right. All right, it's still yanking. Let's go. 175. Still down there. Come on. Oh, nice hit. Nice hit. You see it? You see it? What do we got? What do we got? We need the gap for this one, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. What do we got? Come on. Something big. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Woo! <laughs> Come on. I saw the pool. You're at 100 meters. Oh, baby. It's feeling it. What do we got? Oh, <laughs> let's go. Come on, 80. 80 meters. 70. Come on. Come on, baby. What do we got? Woo! 
30, 20. Come on. 15, 10. What do we got? What do we got? It's a stringer. Well, that's a big ass rosy. Woo, baby. And we almost lost it. Woo, hoo, hoo. See the size of that thing? Goodness. I was pulling, but. Woo! Woo -hoo. Look at the size of that rosy. It's fat. Look at that. Look at them eyes. Woo! All right, it's to get him in the box. All right, do another drop. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Loading, and I saw him swim by. Wow! Wow! That was awesome. I was just getting cold, picking up, just picking up my deep drop. We're not catching shit, and then out of the blue, whoo! We were about to go home and everything. Let's see if any more. Out there. <laughs> we were literally, literally, I was about, literally, I was about to pull my deep drop rod up and then come home and I'm sitting there and I just see two of them. Oh, there's another one. There's a school. 
see him. Woo, baby. Let's get on him. Haha, <laughs> see if there's any more. Maybe that was it. I was literally, that was insane. That was awesome. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a nice little bull right there. Wow. Floater. Insane. Insane in the membrane. And this is hilarious. So I was so fired up, so fired up about these mahi that there was a rosy on here. Wow. I love deep dropping. Look at that. Let's go. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. You cannot make this up. What a haul. What a haul. That thing was just chilling at the top. I don't know how the mahi didn't go grab. Wow. In freaking sane. I'm going home. That was retarded. Let's go. Wow. Wow. Wow is all I have to say. Wow. In sane. In sane. Ah, feed this. There's a bunch of like fish just sitting here. I wouldn't be surprised if more mahi showed up. For all this chumming in the water. See them all. They're just swimming around. Eating it all. Whew. Let's go home. Wow, I've never, ever. That was insane. Wow. 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 I'm just so fired up. Get these babies on ice. Woo. Wow, that was nuts. Literally sitting here, got my deep drop rod on, and boom! They just came out of the middle of nowhere. My thing overheated because it's hot as hell out here. 
and then boom i see two mahi a bull and a cow come up grab crush my lure chasing it down the deep drop rod is still bringing up my my weight and then it was like bam got one on put a pilcher on the other and it darted it down that was freaking insane i've never had that happen before wow wow we're going home on that note i'm going home let's go let's go yes some coconut crusted mahi fillets. Um, I'm gonna go through the ingredients, show you guys what to use, but I love the way that these things taste, especially you can fry them or I use the air fryer, makes them a little bit healthier, but uh, either way, they taste amazing. We're gonna first put the mahi in the unbleached flour and then in an egg wash. And then the final is a mix of some panko. And then I have some sweetened coconut and some unsweetened coconut flakes. All right, so one, two, three, air fryer. Really just mixing up coconut flakes with all the panko in there. It sticks to it a little bit better. cooking all my fish in like 400 in here. This makes it crispier on the outside, but it's probably only gonna cook for like eight or 10 minutes. 
we're good to go. All right, so we're gonna do a taste test with my favorite go-to sweet chili sauce on those coconut crusted mahi. They look pretty good, so we'll see how it goes. I would have sprayed them a little bit more and in the air fryer probably would have made them a little bit crispier, but still look pretty good. So let's start with this one. Favorite sweet and soft, sweet sauce over here. All right, here goes nothing. Look good, look at that. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. Got some spice, that sweet and sour in there, but that is good. Highly recommended. But, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat the rest of this, but thanks so much for watching, guys. Please make sure to subscribe. I know so many of you guys watch the videos, but you don't press that subscribe button, so help out the channel uh, and hit that subscribe below. But more fishing videos on the way. Thanks, guys, again, and we'll see you guys soon. Let's go fishing. Yeah.